do you get a cold and flu symptom going on? And let's be honest, we all know that tennis players having cold and flus, like coughing, runny nose, sore throat, it's not good for your tennis. It's terrible, okay? And trust me, I've been there so many times. But let your boy show you a natural remedy for you, and hopefully it might do the trick for you. Hey all, this is VJ Benekal here. Welcome to VJ's Terse, where it's all things Terse. Hope you guys are doing great, and um, in this video, I'm going to be sharing to you a 100% natural remedy for cold and flus, and this video is a cold and flu elixir. Now, before I go into this video, I am not a qualified health expert, so definitely seek health experts or do your own diligence and research as well. Uh, I'm going to go through all the ingredients, what these ingredients is going to do for you, um, and also showing you how to make it, and also for the final taste test. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so now I'm going to go through six ingredients, and I will go through each of the six ingredients, its measurements as well too. Um, so the first ingredient is water um, and you will need to boil it and it, you should try and get filtered water but if you can't that's okay just do whatever you, you can do best uh, the second ingredient is lemon the third ingredient is honey uh, I would recommend getting raw or manuka if possible the fourth ingredient is olive oil now I will explain why olive oil but trust me don't turn away from this video because olive oil is absolute bomb um, I will explain why in a moment and then the fifth ingredient is cinnamon powder and the last ingredient is ginger powder uh, now with those spices those two spices make sure you can get 100% spice um, everything you should have in this uh, remedy is 100%. There should be no artificial stuff in it whatsoever. Now we'll go through the measurements. You'll need one mug of boiled water, half a lemon, squeeze out the juice, um, and then uh, you've got one to two teaspoons of honey, one tablespoon of olive oil, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon powder and a quarter a teaspoon of ginger powder. Now, I'll go back to olive oil. Now, olive oil, it provides uh, good fats and it fights inflammation. And it also helps to reduce the mucus in your body. Um, also, uh, all these ingredients that is mentioned, like I said, it provides antioxidants, good fats, and vitamin C. Uh, this drink is... Uh, or the ingredients that comes with it is antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal, uh, which also helps to dissolve or break up the mucus, acts as a cough suppressant, soothes the sore throat, and releases toxins out of your body. Um, also, this drink is also useful for uh, sinusitis conditions and cold and flus as well. Uh, I forgot to also uh, mention that, uh, I should have mentioned that in the beginning of the video, but uh, now you know all its purposes, and we'll go through how to make it, and then we'll look at the final result. Alright, so I'm in the kitchen right now, and I have one mug of water in the saucepan, and I'm going to boil it. So once I'm boiling that, I'm now going to look at putting all of my ingredients in the cup. And now we'll look at the cup, and I've added all the ingredients in here, in the cup. I've already measured it out and squeezed a lemon and everything. So obviously there is half a lemon juice in there. There's quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon powder and ginger powder. Uh, one tablespoon of olive oil. And I did say one to two teaspoons of honey, but I added about a one and a half in this one. So all the ingredients is in there. So now... We'll need to boil the water, so once we boil that, then we'll pour into the cup, and then we'll stir it at the same time. Now my water is boiled, and now I'm just going to pour it right in there, I'm going to stir it at the same time, and there is your cold and flu elixir drink, ready to go. And then just keep stirring so that way you 
just make sure that you dissolve all the ingredients and combine them. And let's uh, taste this thing. So, there you go guys, your cold and flu elixir. Tea, or drink, but it's a tea. Um, make sure you have the spoon in there just so that you can um, keep stirring in case if the ingredients get a little bit sticky or maybe stuck together. Uh, just keep it in there while you're drinking. You can take a sip, stir it, sip it again, all that sort of stuff. Alright, let's taste it. Really good. And you'll definitely feel a hit when you drink this thing, because obviously with the spices, it sort of does that sort of sensation to you. Um, but, yeah, totally recommend it, guys. Um, even I can feel the nasal passages just opening up uh, drinking this. I always feel that sensation all the time. I don't know why. You may not feel that. You may feel that. I can't guarantee it, but... This is really, really good. I'd recommend you to drink this at least half an hour before you eat breakfast or have it on an empty stomach. Um, I think having it on an empty stomach first thing in the morning will be the best uh, option. And uh, yeah, just drink your way out of a cold and flu, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. And let me know if you have tried this thing. Um, I hope this does wonders for you. And for all tennis players and athletes, you really do not want to have a cold and flu symptom going on. But if you do, this is the one for you. Anyway, take care. I'm going to have a date with this special lady over here. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Have a good one.